know, guys are tuned in, ready to go. Um, we're at a good spot. We're at a good spot. We got a lot to prove. Every, the good thing is here, we got a bunch of mature guys, smart guys, guys who work hard, and they know there's only one way to do it. And that's what we do out here. And we got to practice at game speed. We got to think at game speed. You know, we got to adjust at game speed. We got to try to make it hard on each other out here so we figure out how to adapt. If we compete out here um, like we would in a game, then when we get in there on Sundays, it's, we're, just, we're just doing our thing. So that's our whole goal, that's our whole aim. That's the way we wanted to start today off. You know, even though we, were, we weren't in pads, I thought the guys did a really good job of practicing super fast, of being smart, you know, avoiding collisions, so it was a good start. I think we saw Andrew went through individual, not team. What's your plan for him, and, and where is he as far as readiness? Yeah, I feel good about where he's at. Um, thought he looked good today. Um, and we'll just kind of keep progressing. Tomorrow will be a little bit more, and then we'll reevaluate. We're just going to kind of reevaluate uh, after each day, but uh, just talking to him out here today felt good, and tomorrow will be a little bit more, and then hopefully we keep progressing from there. Did you guys evaluate how you want to handle Andrew in this return from the cap screen? Did you guys take into any consideration with what happened with Kevin Durant when he came back from his cap screen? Um, we didn't really talk about it, but I think we all knew it. I mean, I, I was thinking it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was certainly thinking it, and um, I didn't have that conversation with Chris or with any of our trainers, but that's this business you know when when you see when you see something like that happen you're like oh yeah that's that's why you be that's why you do what we're doing and it was kind of like unspoken truth you know that's that's why let's be cautious about this Frank, is the next step team drills for him yeah and uh, well you no know, the next step would be 7 on 7 you know the next step would be 7 on 7 so the plan would be for tomorrow him to to do 7 on 7 and we you know we might just keep it 7 on 7 for a few days um, you know, we might keep it seven on seven for a few days, um, but you know, we got some tests. You know, we just as some of it's just kind of feedback. You know, just trusting Andrew, saying how do you feel? He's doing a bunch of other stuff as well, but the next step will be seven on seven, and we'll do that for one, two, three, how, four days, how, however many it takes. We got plenty of time. Feel like we'll get a lot of good reps. Different body part, obviously. Were you guys able to learn a little bit about last year and how you guys had that plan and how it really went? I mean, it really went well last year in terms of what you guys did here in August. Yeah, and uh, we, we have referred to that a couple times, you know, just talking with Andrew, just the discipline of sticking to the plan, of not pushing and rushing things, knowing we have time, and uh, as long as we're doing everything that we need to do to get better, and, and he is doing that. Coach, has spent so much hype already about this team. How do you keep it in check with these guys? Have you kind of talked to them about this starting out? Yeah, we talk to we, You know, we talk about it, but... You know, I think we've already established the habit of, you know, the expectations that we talk about are our own expectations. We, we under, we're, we're excited that everybody else is excited. You know, we're happy about that. That's, we want to generate that enthusiasm and excitement here for Colts fans. But when we come to work, um, the, the only thing that we're concentrating on is, you know, meeting our own high expectations. And really, and we talked about this last year. I remember us in here as a group talking about our expectations are primarily about how we practice. And let's, let's just have high expectations about what we're going to do out here. And then let's let that carry over to Sundays. Frank, what's, a, what's a reasonable expectation for year two of Darius Leonard? He set the bar so high, didn't he? Yeah, and um, yeah, he did. And he's, he set it as high as you could set it. Um, some hard to imagine he could have had a better year than he did last year, but he would tell you like anybody else, all the great players, there's a million ways you can get better. There's a million, as good as he was, it's crazy to think that, but there's a million ways he can get better and he has to get better. Um, I, I've heard him say that himself and we all know that that's, what, that's the way great players think. Frank, you saw it from a year ago when you're a first time head coach at first camp, how, how are there a million ways you can get better and maybe have gotten better this time last year? You know, I think one, one of the, adjustments I've made is like even today giving the guys a few more breaks you know we did a lot of study in the offseason Chris is great I mean Chris is he's just demanding of, of us of me of our organization that hey all the data shows that the first seven to ten days of camp that's when a high percentage of soft tissue issues happen so you know really getting everybody on the same page I think we uh, Chris and I sat down and said how can we get the training staff the strength staff the players all on the same page to to do all the preparation to minimum. You can't eliminate the stuff. We understand in injuries are gonna happen. Um, 
but we slowed practice down a little bit with a few breaks, uh, you know, and, and we'll progress practice. And it's still going to be hard, intense camp, but there's going to be times where practice will be a little bit shorter than it was last year and a few more breaks just to make sure they're getting the rest. Okay, last question. Eric Ebron asked, how can he continue to elevate his game, if not the same numbers, but just to be better? Yeah, no, we, and I think that's a good point. We really, it's not just about the numbers. You know, his numbers last year were spectacular, but, um, and he played a lot of good football outside of the big numbers. But, um, you know, just being more consistent in route running, um, I really think Eric developed uh, a lot as a route runner. I think his chemistry with Andrew really developed over the year. So to keep picking up from that, the technical part of the routes at the top of the route, I just feel like he's continuing to work on and he's demanding a lot of himself there. And then all of our receivers, like you even see it out here today, I, I like our, you guys know I like our receiver group as good as well as any in the league, but just the consistency of all of us catching the ball, you know, and, and minimizing and, and getting every ball that comes our way. Frank, it's Saturday or Sunday for full pads. When's the first day? Saturday will be the first day. Okay, thanks guys, I've got Andrew.